Up in, in our area, in Olympia, the question that the newspaper seems to put out front is this moral question, is how can we morally leave now at this point and feel good about ourselves or whatever. And my statement to Congressman Baird in that regard is that we were all horribly crushed at the time of the U.S. invaded. We've suffered that moral uh, load already of having the country do something that is immoral. So we've been already in the grips of that and uh, wrestling with it. So, the, uh, of course, he talks about reparations. There's no doubt we need to make reparations. We need to help the Iraqis rebuild. But the American military is just not good at doing that. That's not what they've been trained to do. They're trying to hurry up and retrain to make artillery people and uh, um, combat people into civil engineers, but it's just not their first training. And so I use the analogy of a bull in a China cabinet or China shop. The bull has broken, uh, helped in the breaking of everything in the country, and the bull cannot put all those pieces of China back together. It's going to take a different kind of force to do that, and that I'm sure will involve neighbors. We need to make friends with the Iranians and the Syrians, in my opinion because they'll be definitely a part of putting Iraq back together. Uh, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, all of those countries in that area, I'm sure, will come in and help, and the UN should be the lead, or another multi-nation uh, force should be the lead, not the United States. Uh, you know, we've, we've run out our goodwill in the country. And uh, I agree with him, it, it, if things get worse or bad, very bad when we leave, it will be sad. But those of us who knew this was a wrong thing to do from the beginning have been dealing with that sadness all along. One point two, hope I'm not going on and on too long, but 1.2 million people, civilians, Iraqis, have died, and that's a disaster already. And so, in my opinion, we need to stop this and uh, stop the disaster that's in progress.